On May 17, 1861, Scottish physicist James Clerk Maxwell revealed the first color photograph at King's College in London during a Royal Institution lecture on color theory. It took place during a 150th anniversary event that was filled with talks celebrating scientific discoveries. The first permanent color photograph was taken by Thomas Sutton, who was working directly with Maxwell. The photo is actually a composite of three black and white pictures, each taken through a red, green, and blue filter. The images were overlaid through projection of three similarly filtered lenses, which resulted in a display of a color photograph. Sutton was not only the photographer, but he invented the single-lens reflex camera and the first wide-angle lens for this projection display. The team of Maxwell and Sutton was a team that could not be beat. The three-color method, which is the foundation of virtually all practical color processes, was first suggested in an 1855 paper on color vision by Maxwell. It's based on the young Helmholtz theory that the normal human eye perceives color because the retina is covered with millions of intermingled cone cells of three different types. Maxwell revealed a rotating disc. With this color vision display, he could alter proportions. He could easily show that any visible hue or gray tone could be created by mixing only three pure colors of light, red, green, and blue, in proportions that would stimulate these three types of cells. Interestingly, although Maxwell's presentation of the first permanent color photograph was popularized as the first color photo, it actually wasn't. It's important to remember it's the first permanent or durable color photo. The actual first color photo dates back to 1848, when French physicist Edmond Becquerel created it at the Museum d'Histoire Naturelle in Paris. Becquerel's method in producing the photograph quickly faded under daylight, though, and his process was quickly abandoned. Around 1850 or 1851, the American Baptist preacher Levi Hill claimed to have invented color photography by himself. He presented the so-called Hillotypes. But these photos were moderate in quality, and Hill refused to share how he produced the color photos. Clerk Maxwell's overlay process was a more permanent solution that was extremely popular. So much so, the transmission of high-quality photographs in color was sent as three color palette films all the way up until the 1980s. You can recreate this method as well if you desire. Take a black-and-white photograph of a scene through a colored filter. The image will be in black and white. But the only things in the image are the things that can be seen through the filter. Take a multitude of black-and-white images through different filters. The classic choices are red, green, and blue. To reconstruct the color image, shine a red light through the red, black and white image. Shine a green light through the green image. And a blue light through the blue image. Align the three projected images together on the screen, and the correct color image will magically appear. The first generally practical color photographic process known as autochrome debuted in France in 1907 by Auguste and Louis Lumiere. In 1936, only one year after the invention of Kodachrome, the AGFA company in Germany created the Agfa Color Negative Positive Process. And then in 1942, Kodak released their negative positive color film, Kodacolor. And within 20 years after the improvements in quality, speed, and price, Kodak Color became the most popular film among amateur photographers. Color photography in the 1900s is certainly an interesting story for another time, though. These are Interesting Things with J.C.